For today's regular season matchup between the Southern Western University Warriors and your North Green Crusaders. <laughs> Today's starting lineups. First for the visitors, the Warriors. Number one, Ruben Rodriguez. Number two, Nestor Gonzalez. Number five, Juan Agudelo. Number 10, Ivan Malaga. Number 12, Christian Taylor. Number 13, Abraham Arredondo. Number 14, Zach Smith. Number 17, Liam Brandon. Number 18, Joey Capone. Number 20, Jacob Kashur. Number 22, Michael Hershon. The Warriors are coached by Camilo Rodriguez and Justin Peterson. And now, the starting lineup for your North Greenville Crusaders. Number one, Mateo Barzola. Number two, David Bacera. Number six, Johnny Lynn. Number eight, Marillo Mataraji. Number 10, Victor Labi. Number 15, Doug Cordy. Number 18, Jake Quinn. Number 21, Casey Bray. Number 26, Shores Van Eck. Number 33, Asa Wood. Number 36, Joe Seaman. Your Crusaders are coached by Chad Goodfeller and Kyle Wall. At this time, we ask that you please stand for the invocation and afterwards remain standing as we honor America with the national anthem. Let us pray. Father God, we just come before you, Lord, thanking you for this day. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to play this game. Lord, we just ask that you protect all players and participants and watch over us as we give you glory for our gifts. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Welcome everyone to another production of North Greenville Soccer or North Greenville Sports Network. Tonight, North Greenville taking on the Warriors of Southern Wesleyan out of Central South Carolina. Southern Wesleyan boasting a 8-4 and 1 record overall. So Warriors looking pretty strong throughout the season as the regular, regular season for soccer winds down and the postseason for the Conference Carolina starts to take shape in men's and women's soccer. North Greenville 2 and 10 trying to finish out their season strong and build on a performance for next year. It's going to be interesting to see both teams from Southern Westerlin and North Greenville who's going to be able to pass the ball better and be able to keep the pace of the game at a higher tempo, usually be able to get the first couple of scores. And one question might be, can the North Greenville defense stand strong for the whole 90 minutes? We've got a good defensive backfield. But can they keep Southern Wesleyan out of the net and get the ball back to their offense? Southern Wesleyan will start out with possession. Number 12, Christian Taylor will throw in on the far side. It'll be taken actually by number five, Juan Agudelo. Center defense bringing the pressure on that last, last drive. There's Victor Lobby, strong player for North Greenville. Him and Johnny Lynn normally hook up one way or another. So the Wesley trying to work down the left wing at number 13. That's Abraham Arredondo. And now Redondo will throw in now number 17, Liam Brandon. We're still working in the middle of the field. Casey Brady providing some defensive pressure for North Greenville. You've got Lobby with him. And number two is David Becerra. And North Greenville able to intercept the pass. Asa Wolf picks up the loose ball, but unable to bring it back under control. The Warriors will get it back out of bounds. Southern Wesley and open on the left wing. Number 13, Arredondo. Trying to chip it forward. Number 17 breaks free around the defense. He's onside. Can't quite get a shot. Number 18 for North Greenville, Jake Quinn doing all he can and forces Southern Wesleyan to pass out of the box. Now Southern Wesleyan slices one in the middle of the field, number 22. Michael Hertzenhout. Now the Warriors try to go to the far side, number 12, almost in the air, that's Christian Taylor again. And North Greenville able to keep the ball away from him and just send it out of bounds, try and stall the Warriors for a little bit and let the rest of the defense catch up. North Greenville's defense able to really just keep a really a big wall in front of Southern Wesley and not be able to penetrate as easily as they have been in the past. Throwing for the Warriors. And North Greenville gets it back on throw and Warriors lose it out of bounds that time. And Asa Wolf able to bring down the ball amidst three Warriors. And now they look forward to go to Johnny Land, but he's called offside. The flag goes up from the near side official. And Johnny Land offside. Warriors with a goal kick number one, the keeper tonight for Southern Wesley and Ruben 
Rodriguez, a senior out of Madrid, Spain. And at the other end, number one for North Greenville, Mateo Barzola. Southern Wesleyan just playing a little conservative, keeping the ball in the middle of the field, just waiting to look for the open lane down the, to be able to come down to the other side, for sure. Try to work it down the middle. They cross the midfield stripe, number 10, Ivan. Malagon. Now back to the left wing, number 13, Arredondo. Being pressured by Shores Vanek. And passes out. Now Asa Wolf tries to intercept the pass. Can't quite do it. Bounces off his foot. Number 18, Joey Capone. And number 13, Arredondo. Get the ball back. Still trying to work the middle of the field, pass it up slowly. Now number 20, Jacob Kasher. Number five, Juan Agudelo. Number 10, Magalagon. Sarah inter intercepts and Seavers picks it up. And North Greenville might have a chance. There's number eight, Murillo Mataragia down the left wing. Pass back the middle of the field, and Southern Wesleyan able to knock it away from Victor Lobby, and the Warriors get it back. Now the Warriors, they'll try to attack down the right wing. Number 17 goes after that one, Liam Brandon. Warriors trying to get out of the trap on the right wing, and North Greenville able to knock the ball away, Victor Lobby. Trying to get it back to Matarajia. Has Wolf in accompaniment. Wolf picks it up. Tries to get it back. There's Lobby. Lobby working the middle field. Gets tripped up. That will be a foul and will stay with North Greenville. And we'll set it for a free kick within range. Lobby number 10 for North Greenville. Not, it was trying to split defenders there, but wasn't exactly able to do that with that penalty coming in. North Greenville gets to keep the ball though, that's a good thing. Southern Wesleyan will form up the wall at the edge of the box. Looks like only two players are part of it. <laughs> Official coming in to make sure everybody's in the right place. Now here comes a free kick. Slice into the box right into the wall. And North Greenville able to pick the ball up. Matarajia gets it back. Now Severs tries to chip it in. Repulsed by Southern Westland. Here comes Matarajia again. And he gets tripped up. And that's a clean challenge. Southern Westland back the other way, trying to get a fast break. Pass number 20. Jacob Cashier on the left wing. Slices to the middle. Number 17, unable to pick it up. Now he will pass out. That was Liam Brandon, and North Greenville clears it for the moment. But number five, Juan Agudelo. Get the ball back for his Warriors, and they'll try again. Number 20, Jacob Kesher back on the left wing. Vanek doing everything he can to get the ball away. Brady comes up to cover number 13, Arredondo. And the threat avoided for the moment. Southern Wesleyan's done a great job of being able to penetrate the Crusader defense up to this point, just haven't been able to finish the job so far yet. They just had their best look at the ball game, but weren't able to get off a shot. And North Greenville defender goes down after being run into by the Southern Wesleyan player, and they're going to have to stop play as the defender for North Greenville is still down on the turf. Number 18, Jake Quinn, the defender, got knocked down on the play. 
Slight limp, but he looks overall okay. You know, it looks like he will stay in the ball game as well. And so we will play on. I'm surprised at how well so Wesley up to this point has been able to have the ball in their possession for most of the game so far. Just trying to look for an open lane down the field. As they may have one here. No, they don't. Victor Lobby knocks the ball away. Passes forward. Asa Wolf. Still now they'll work it down the left wing. There goes North Greenville down the left wing. Transfer across from the far side of the box. Lind. Coming up, Casey Brady as well. Wolf in the middle of the box. Southern Wesleyan able to clear that one away from Mataragia. North Greenville not done yet. Long shot into the box looking for Asa Wolf. Will sail over him. And Southern Wesleyan will be able to pick this one up and get it away. Now here comes Shores Vanett to field that cleared ball. And North Greenville again trying to make a run, but Southern Wesleyan bounces it off their defense. Agudelo loses it out of bounds, throw in for North Greenville. Now here's Johnny Lind, Southern Wesleyan defender draped all over him. No whistle, Lind gets back up, still in possession of the ball, has a shot, bounces off Agudelo again. Crusaders with their own a little bit of offensive tack come down at 34 minutes. Have a corner kick for North Greenville, this will be their first one. Number 10, Lobby to take it. Sends one in, headed away by Southern Wesleyan at the edge of the box. Shot sails over the crossbar. No good, so North Greenville will walk away. Goal is still. Southern Wesleyan very lucky with the rebound shot going sailing over the top of the goal as we know that many of those shots are the ones that usually are the ones that are the scores. That one headed back in. Now Asa Wolf going after it. Southern Wesleyan able to get back to their keeper, Rodriguez, for number two, Nestor Gonzalez. Looks like Rodriguez will have to finally settle things down and come with the ball. North Greenville backs off the pressure. Southern Wesleyan trying to work it down that right wing. Number 12, Christian Taylor gets forced out of bounds by North Greenville. The Crusaders will get back a throw in. Becerra loses the ball, has his defense come to support him. Now with Barzola after he gets it for number 15, Doug Cordy. North Greenville ball off the far side. Still trying to work it down that left wing, see if they can get something going. Both teams looking for the early goal, going on a high attack on both sides of the ball when they have it. Throwing for North Greenville. Wolf misses the header. Southern Wesleyan able to clear it. Here comes Cordy up, slinging it down that right wing. Lynn there again. Looking for support in the box. Lynn cuts back, stays on his feet, avoiding the defenders, finds Vanek, loses the ball, and here comes Southern Wesleyan. Number 10, Malagon, out of bounds. At number 13, Arredondo. North Greenville with a chance off the throw in. Wolf. And number 18, Capone get tangled up. Official calls a foul, most likely against Capone. 
And so North Greenville this time again a throw, a free kick from the near side this time. Another great opportunity for North Greenville to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Lobby will right foot this one in and sail over everyone. Southern Westland now trying to get out of their own corner. And Becerra intercepts loose ball. And North Greenville gets it to some clear space to try and work it forward. Maturagia bounces off the Southern Westland defender, gets it back. Lucky to have that one bounce back right to him. Trying to go down the middle field, intercepted by Southern Westland. Becerra misses the tackle. Casey Brady giving chase. They work down the left wing number two. Hers and Hout. That's a foul called against the Warriors. And it'll go back to North Greenville. Bartzola comes out of his box to send this one away. So I want to say back the other way after stepping in the passing lane. Hey. Bell North Greenville repays the favor. Picks off the pass in the middle of the field. There's Mataragia down the left wing. Has a shot off the hands of Rodriguez and over the crossbar. So I'm Wesley not out of the woods yet. North Greenville with a corner again from this near side flag. We'll get a second chance. Here comes the corner kick in. This one wide, headed back in though. And back out by North Greenville. Here come the Warriors back the other way. Nice avoidance tackle by Liam Brandon. Trying to work the left wing. He's picked up by Cordy though. Forces a bad pass. It was Lobby who forced the bad pass. And Brady out of bounds off his foot. Warriors keep it. Brady intercepts the pass off the throw in. Shores Vanek sends it down the field though. But nobody home except for Southern Wesleyan defenders who pick up the ball. Now Johnny Lynn comes up, providing some pressure against Arredondo. This time header, that time by Arredondo, will give the ball back to North Greenville. Sarah across midfield sends a nice shot. That's just a little too short. Trying to find Johnny Lynn, but Southern Wesleyan able to get men up. Number 20, Jacob Cashier steps in front of that pass. And number five, Agudelo. He's looking to go left wing, Cashier back to Agudelo. Number 10, Malagon. And back to Cashier. Warriors trying to work it down the middle of the field. Runs into Casey Brady who intercepts it. Now Warriors get it back. Hey, 
And now number 13 in the box. Cuts it back in, passes off. And Devender, the attacker missed. Number 12, Taylor. Had a wide open shot, now a shot from distance. Too high. Over the crossbar. Southern Westland has a chance to let get away. Number five, Juan Agudelo with that shot going high, sailing over the Crusader defender. Number 12, Taylor had one of the first shots to try and get in. Now a mistimed pass will be picked up by the Warriors. Loose ball number 10, Malagon. Now near side corner, Cashier chips it in. Barzola comes up to make the save before Taylor can get to the ball. Good job by Barzola to be able to recognize what was happening and having the soccer smarts to come out as a goalie and stop that play before it could happen. Andre Sakar has a collision with Arredondo, but official says play on, we will do so. Now a long pass down the field. Drops in front of number 13, Arredondo. And he doesn't get the contact he wanted on it, loses it. Lobby working down the field. Picks up Sakar. Sakar with a nice shot into the box intended for Lobby. Cut away by Southern Westland. Ball's inbounds and the Warriors bounce it off of Lobby to get the ball back. But just in front of the corner flag with the throw in. Vanek trying to make a bounce toward the keeper. Rodriguez with the easy save. Now this one, flip header by Sakar finds Lynn, but he swarmed immediately by Arredondo. Now Vanek picks it up. Sakar spin move for that ball, has a shot and saved by Rodriguez. Southern Westland, not able. Crusaders take the ball back. He's Lynn. Lynn, a name we've been calling him this all night. He's been all over the field on defense and offense. Showing up strong for the Crusaders. Johnny Lynn listed as a midfielder. Plays a little bit more forward than defense defender for North Greenville. Has some speed when he's on the attack. No foul as the Southern Wesleyan attacker gets twisted to the ground. That was Arredondo. North Greenville gets it back. A pass to Barzola from Cordy. Cordy gets it back. Turns it downfield. Southern Wesleyan wins the battle at midfield. Taylor. Hang on now. Number five, Agudelo. Back to number 10. Malagon. That ball does not stay in bounds from Arredondo. North Greenville has it for the moment. Bounced up in the air by the Warriors. Now Vanek picks it up. Who's out of bounds? Be Warriors ball. Good, 
And now here comes Zion Wesley and Seavers gets the ball first though, but number 20 goes to pick it out as Cashor. And Shores Vanek sends that one back the other way. Warriors ball though. Heads up play by number 20, Jacob Cashor, to be able to hit off the North Green defender. Keep the ball in there, keep the ball in North Southern Westland's possession. And North Greenville gets it back. Sakar to Brady. Middle of the field, Sakar. And now Sakar evades the defense, finds the edge of the box, but loses the ball. Lind and Brady rip it away from Southern Westland. Now Lind in a lot of traffic. Loses the ball to number five. Agudelo. Cashier on the left wing. Long pass, looking down the field, number 13, Arredondo. Was it out of bounds, and we will have our first substitution of the game with roughly 20 and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Number 24 for North Greenville will come onto the field. Cameron Ward on for Brady. Now long pass down the field, goes left wing for North Greenville. Here's Matarajia. Gets tripped up. Ball still rolling though. Out of bounds. Flag goes up and Warriors ball. To this point in the game, Southern Westland and North Greenville have both had opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net and score, but have not been able to do so. So we're really looking for some more active play from both teams to be able to do that soon enough. This one's sent down the field by Cordy. Sakar runs into a man, but can't get the ball. Southern Wesleyan. Now here comes Vanek. Looking in the near side, Sakar. And ball slid out of bounds by Arredondo. North Greenville picks up their third corner of the game, Lobby. Sends the cross in, this one headed away by Southern Wesleyan, out of bounds, another corner. Hey Doug, touch your shirt in so they can see you, see him pull it. Here comes the cross in again, and this time Rodriguez won't have any of it, comes off his mark and makes the save. Wow, what a kick by the keeper, Rodriguez. Makes it all the way down the field. Vanek has trouble handling it. Picked up by Southern Wesleyan's number 12, Taylor. And he has the ball bounce out of bounds off North Greenville. The Warriors get it. Now they're within striking distance once again. North Greenville clears this one. Warriors with another throw in. Southern Wesleyan trying to work the pass lines. Now North Greenville has room to run up the middle of the field. He's trying to slip it through to Sakar. He's one-on-one -on -one with a defender. 
And a foul against the car will give Southern Wesleyan the ball back. Both players on both sides trying to fight for that ball coming in with Sakaar. And then we also have for Southern Wesleyan. Southern Wesleyan, number 18, Joey Capone fighting for the ball. But a foul on, a foul on his Rakar come down to the play. Now a long shot, sent back by Vanek, right back to Christian Taylor, who sent it down the field. Southern Wesleyan with some nice passing on the right wing. Quinn clears out of bounds with 16 minutes left in the first half. Southern Wesleyan, another throw in, still scoreless between North Greenville and Southern Wesleyan. Both teams able to wind their way into each other's boxes, but unable to get a good enough strike to get it past the keepers. Give credit to both keepers being able to be a heads up on the ball on each time everyone has, each team has been able to try to score. It's a car to lobby. Now down the field, this one's going to bounce, but a little too far trying to find. Looks like, yep, that's Mataragia. Number two, Nestor Gonzalez riding some defense for the Warriors. Taylor gets tripped up by Quinn. Official says play on. And here comes North Greenville trying to wind their way into Southern Wesleyan's box. Middle of field, ball bounced around from Mataragia. Can't get his shot off. And now here's Ward. He loses the ball. Now Southern Wesleyan looks to go deep down the other end. Seavers one-on-one -on -one with Arredondo. Arredondo stops the ball. Trying to curl around Seavers, and Seavers trips him up. And that will be a foul against Seavers over there on the right wing. No card. And Southern Wesleyan will set up with a free kick from that far side corner of the box for try and find back of the net under 15 minutes to play in the first half. Comes a free kick from Wesleyan. This one high, right to Barzola with the save. And now this one's going to roll into Warrior. And then a defensive back half for Southern Wesleyan. Sakar, Mataragia. Trying to spin, curls his way, loses the ball. Off of Southern Wesleyan, so he will. Have himself a corner for North Greenville. This time they'll take it from the far side flag. Seems like this game opportunity after opportunity for both teams again with Southern Wesleyan able to have the free kick. And now we're coming back in with North Greenville having a corner kick chance here with, that, with not even a minute apart from each other. Cross into the box from the corner. Headed away by 12, Taylor for Southern Wesleyan, out of bounds. Another corner for North Greenville. I'll switch into the field and try again. Both teams showing resilience on defense to be able to create, both, create an iron wall for both sides when it comes to defense so far. Corner, line drive from Lobby. Cleared away by Southern Wesley and Doug Cordy had the best chance along with Sakar. Southern Wesleyan once again clears it. Now the 
Powell is sent back the other way by North Greenville, but Sakar called offside in the box. Goal kick for Rodriguez makes it down the field. Southern Wesleyan will work their way down the field. Going that kick, out of bounds by North Greenville. The Warriors have a throw in. Looks like Southern Wesleyan bench is starting to keep trying to keep warm for a little bit of drills. Warriors with a chance from the edge of the box. Deflected away by Vanek. Nice header there by Sievers. So North Greenville able to clear it. Sakar comes back to pick up the ball. Pass back to Vanek. Warriors intercept that pass. Look to go back down the field again. And unable to hook up, number 10. Malagon can't reach that one in time. Warriors down the left wing again. Herzenhaupt. Near side edge of the box, curls one in. Barzola with another save. Land comes up. Nice kick, connects with the car. Bumped and pushed out of bounds by number 13 there, Adondo. Throw in for Sakar. And now Lind will take it. It's 63 degrees here in Pepsi Stadium tonight, but it feels a whole lot colder if you were in shorts. Uh, moving up and down the field has got to probably keep you warm too. This one cleared out of bounds. Now Sakar slices one in. Cleared away again by the Warriors. Had Lobby and Inman open in the box. Didn't connect with them in time. Warriors again try to go down the field, Arredondo. Agudelo. Agudelo again. Nice back heel, middle of the field. Here comes number 13, Arredondo has a shot. Barzola bobbles it, but saves it. That's a play from the from Wolf Rebel coming up out of that with the save. So unless they want the handball, they don't get the call as the car bounced it around. Now here comes Lind. Trying to outmaneuver the defense. One, two, three, nice cuts. As the ball punched away. And now Lynn still with possession. Now to Ward. Bounces off of Arredondo, and they will get a corner off that deflection. Again, another opportunity for North Greenville to go and get a, get a score on the board. Here with another corner kick. This has been their, and then in the last five minutes, this has been another, this has been their third corner kick of the game. We're at seven minutes, 25 seconds currently. And this one headed on goal, but off speed, Rodriguez with the save. As we do approach seven minutes left to play in the first half, so attacking chances winding down for both teams in the first half. 
the intensity on both sides will definitely pick up with the coming near to the half. Cashore catches a break. Warriors down the near side with the ball. Warriors trying to pass it in the box. Collision, number 10, Malagon. Now back to Cashier. Now here comes number five. Passes off to try to get back number five and Cordy with the deflection. Otherwise that might have been a goal from Juan Ogadello. Corner kick for the Warriors. Line drive kick, low, cleared away by North Greenville. Off the golf cart. Lind intercepts the pass. The middle of the field. Now looking to bounce it for Sakar, but too far in front of him. Rodriguez scoops up the ball. This interception header by Quinn. Oh, North Greenville aren't unable to get anything going. Ivan. Mal Malagon steps away of the ball and the Warriors work forward again. Under five to play in the first half. Fanny gets a piece of that one to send it the other way. It's a car. Nice dribbling from Andre Sakar. Out in the middle of the field, Becerra. That's a doing on the left wing. And Southern Wesleyan again picks up loose ball. Malagon is there. Interception by Lobby, pulling that one away from Malagon. Unable to get the card down the field. Rodriguez again with the loose ball. So the wrestling is setting up a lot on the left side of the field coming into tonight's match. And now Cordy sends that one away as number 12 for the Warriors. Christian Taylor there again making a run. Cordy recognizing it and sending the ball away. Well, here's some open space on that left wing again. Here's Arredondo. Vanek on defense. They kick it away from Vanek. And now the middle of the field. Back heel from Hertzenhout. 17 before the Warriors. He'll lose the ball. That was Brandon. Emman loses the ball right in front of the grandstand on that sideline over on the far side. Warriors get it back. Final two minutes. 
chances for trying to build up an attack. Winding away. Now the Warriors trying to turn around Seavers. Pass back and trying to get in the box. North Greenville holding firm. Here comes a long shot that won't be anywhere close. It'll be over the crossbar, no good. And Barzola will take his time getting back into the box. North Greenville look like they might try and just ride this one out, take the scoreless tie into the half. Southern Westland having most of the time of possession in this game so far. And it looks like they're going to have one more chance, a final minute. Down to the left wing. And Arredondo with the ball into the box. Actually, he'll stay outside the box, works to the middle field, deflected away by Macera. Now North Greenville will try and turn the tables and get their last chance in before the half. Got to work forward quickly. They'll send it down the field. Lind on a power run. And he will be able to pick that one up. Here's Lynn crossing to the box and saved by Rodriguez. Had Sakar in his face and he makes the save. Again, goalies playing a big part in tonight's game. Rodriguez being able to have that heads up play, be able to see it, see where uh, where, where uh, the kicker striker was coming in and be able to stop the ball. 10 seconds left until halftime. North Greenville, maybe one more chance. Seavers looks forward. Here's Lobby. Trying to go down the left wing. The clock expires as the ball rolls out of bounds. North Greenville will run their attack out of the right side goal. That will do it for the first half. Scoreless between North Greenville. Both teams having their chances and a nice, few nice looks at the net, but nobody able to finish the job. We're still scoreless here between North Greenville and Southern Westland at halftime here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Back for the second half between North Greenville and Southern Wesleyan and a scoreless deadlock at the moment. Both teams have had plenty of chances to try and finish and come out with a goal. However, the goalkeepers tonight have been especially strong. Ruben Rodriguez for the Warriors of Southern Wesleyan, Mateo Barzola for North Greenville at the other end. Now they will switch nets. We'll get to see how the second half will turn out. Can somebody get a goal? Can somebody? Get a breakthrough and win this ball game. Second half of every game is always about how does each team going to respond to the adversity they face so far coming into the game. North Greenville will start the second half off with the ball, but Southern Wesleyan. Right back to it, number seven, Fernando Posada. Giving chase, North Greenville trying to get it across midfield. Here comes Victor Labe, quickly to Matarigi on the left wing. Southern Wesley gets to it first, number two, Gonzalez. Asa Wolf trying to put some pressure on Gonzalez. Gonzalez maintains composure, passes number 23, Cassio Burnenbaum. Number 11 showing some speed, Sebastian Castro. There's Castro on the edge of the box. Castro again, gets it back, tries to slide it in and cleared away by the Crusaders. Wolf hangs on and now trying to get over the defense. Matarajia goes after it, headed away and out of bounds. North Greenville will hang on. 
keep it down this near side for throw in. So far, the first part of the second half is starting to match up like the first entire half, where both teams have been able to get down the field but had not been able to produce and be net. Southern Wesleyan trying something down the left wing. Shot in the box, Barzola with the save. And none, too, none too soon for him. Southern Wesleyan had two in the box. Posada and Castro, both were there. Southern Wesleyan unable to connect with either of them. Bounds, Southern Wesleyan with the throw in. North Greenville now, with their first decent chance. Wolf into the box, but nobody home, except the keeper Rodriguez. Offside flag goes up against Posada. Southern Wesleyan's chance three minutes into the second half. It's away from them. Southern Wesleyan, they'll try again. High cross into the box over everyone. And Barzola will have a goal kick. Pass from number five, Agudelo working down the Castro. And now number 12, Taylor. But Quinn provides a defense, kicks the ball out of bounds, so I will have to sell for a throw in. Castro back on the edge of the box, tries to set one in, deflected away by King. This time the Warriors get a corner. Warriors with a prime, prime opportunity to put the ball in the net again with this, with this coming up, with this corner kick coming up. Trying to find the first goal of the game for either team. Just seems like execution for both sides of the ball for both teams has been a real issue and the reason why this game is still scoreless. Long corner kick, headed on goal and Barzola makes the save. Sends this kick long and high. And to the other keeper, coast to coast Rodriguez clears it away with Maturagia right there just to make sure. North Greenville defense able to put Southern Wesleyan on their heels at the moment. Long pass to the far side, unable to connect with anyone. North Rainbow gets it back with a throw in. Yeah. 
Quinn with the interception. Southern Wesleyan unable to work it forward anymore. Now Castro with an interception on Lobby. Vanek with that deflection. Holds off Southern Wesleyan with the moment. Warriors go for a throw in. Brady picks up that ball. Lobby gets it back across midfield, looking for some open space. And Castro with the interception. Vanek with a nice slide tackle, able to clear the ball away. Both defenses able to bring enough pressure to keep taking the ball away from the offense. Now two defenders from North Greenville slide in, but can't come up with it. They leave Castro open here on the right wing. Looking for the cross, here it comes. Headed on goal for the post, punched away by Barzola at the last moment. Warriors lose it out of bounds, and Barzola. No, Southern Wesleyan gets a corner off North Greenville. What a play by Barzola for the goalie from North Greenville to be able to time that play as a time jump, be able to punch out the last second. Out from the header from Number seven, Posada. Corner kick from the cross. Southern Westland still loose in the box. North Greenville clears it out. The Warriors get it back. Now they'll have a chance for a second cross. And now a long shot's going to sail to the near side. Hook up with number seven. Slices back in and misses everyone from Posada. Southern Westland still right back to the other side of the box. Number five, they have bumped into the referee, Agudelo, from that pass. So Westland, chip shot, number two. And North Greenville finally looks like they'll have a chance to clear it as Gonzalez doesn't take a shot. No, 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 no. Whistle. Foul against North Greenville. Against North Greenville on number 12, Anderson. For the Sun is Wesleyan. The one who has fouled. So Wesleyan keeping it in the middle of the field, looking for their open lane. Pass number five, Agu Aguadillo. Now the Warriors back on the edge of the box. Cordy clears it away. No field number five, Aguadillo there. Now near side, Castro. One on one with his defender, Matrugia. Castro passes, trying to get inside the box a little bit closer. Aguadillo, he's, he's double teamed. A shot dribble off Seavers into the box. Here's Castro, and now a shot that's going to go wide from number 10 for Southern Wesleyan. Ivan Malagon with the best shot anybody's had tonight. 34 minutes left to play in the second half, unable to find the net. Execution in the game is becoming a key factor, and to again, it's a reason why this game is still scoreless. Warriors form with another attack. Cross from the far side, headed away by the Crusaders' lobby, and Southern Wesley gets it back. 
Number five, that's Agudelo. Tries to sling it into Castro. Castro can't keep it inbounds. Goal kick for Barzola. So the Wesleyan just pushing the ball a little bit too far on that play, trying to drive it in. It's Lucas Gravely. He'll make his first appearance. Normally, starter on defense, getting a rest for the first half. We'll sub in for Shores. Vanek, who will sub out. And of Greenville, that worked on the last wing. Here goes Matt Argia. Cleared out of bounds. For Southern Wesleyan, number two, Gonzalez makes the stop for the Warriors. Crusaders throw in, though. Number chance, there's Becerra. High cross into the box, we'll sail wide, but find Lind. Lind can't outmaneuver his, out his defender, and he will pick up a foul and get the ball back to Sonny Wesley. Now Southern Wesleyan with a chance on the box. Here comes a shot, dribbled off a North Greenville defender, goes wide. And what North Greenville, what the North Greenville bench is so upset about is Casey Brady went down in a heap. And the official will not put up with that. Southern Wesleyan with a corner as the official is still making his way back onto the field. We'll reset and try again. Here comes the corner. Quinn with the header that sends it away. Warriors get the ball. North Greenville. There's Mataragia. He's open one on one with his defender. And both of them get pulled to the turf, and the Warriors get the ball. And Mataragia is still down on the ground. Lots of contact on that play. Matt Argia is up and okay. A call will go against North Greenville. And the cowbell, a rallying cry for the Crusaders. Christopher Walken in the building. And we have a yellow card that comes out. It goes against the Warriors. There's another Crusader and Warrior get tangled up. Well, Greenville, Lynn, Johnny Lynn getting tangled up with the Southern Wesleyan Warrior. Southern Wesleyan defender. So Victor Lobby will set up for a free kick after that yellow card it goes against Southern Westland. Clock stops with 30, 24 left to play in the second half. The 
Official gets out of the way. Lobby Stutter steps, sends it in. Headed in and punched away by Rodriguez. Cordy trying to slip it in between the keeper and the post. But Rodriguez cleared it away. Now the Crusaders with a corner. We can't say enough how, how important it is for a goalie play. And Rodriguez with the play be able to time that ball just right to know when the header was coming in and be able to punch it right back out. Now a corner from the near side flag. Here comes the cross. Cleared away by Southern Westland. Seavers sends it back the other way. He'll hook up with Lobby. Lobby to Madrigia. Madrigia trying to look find Lobby again. Castro with the interception. Now Wolf for North Greenville. And Wolf will go after it, but Rodriguez has to clear it away as Wolf cut in his face. The Southern Wesleyan will get the ball. Somehow deflects off of Wolf at the last minute. Nope, now it's North Greenville ball, so they switch it. That is the correct call. Rodriguez did kick it out of bounds last. A throw in this time. And Southern Westland picks up the throw in. But they immediately kick it out of bounds, try and keep it away from North Greenville. So now North Greenville with the throw in. North Greenville's in de defense is definitely picking up in intensity. Trying to get a goal into the box. Cleared away by Southern Westland. Here's Gravely. Looking for to land. Land with a cross, trying to find Wolf. Sails over Wolf. Southern Westland's Castro trying to get rid of it. Seavers comes in to pick it up. So Wesleyan picks it away from him. And a collision. No call against North Greenville. Number seven for Southern Wesleyan. Posada went down in a heap. And bounces around and goes back out of bounds. So Southern Wesleyan gets it back anyway. With only one yellow card in today's match, refs are letting the players play. Officials is playing after Madaragia hits the turf. And then he trips up Southern Wesleyan's number five, Juan Agudelo, and a yellow card again. That's the second one. Goes against Marillo Mataragia. Agudelo checking out his ankle, gets helped up. Looks will be favoring that left ankle some. He'll stay in the game though. And Joe Capone to take the free kick instead of number five, Agudelo for Southern Wesleyan. They'll stack up at the edge of the box. Capone with the kick. Headed on goal and Barzola does. We'll just watch that one go out of bounds. Now who did it go out of bounds off of? North Greenville, Southern Wesleyan picks up a corner. Corner kick, sails in, headed off target by number seven, Posada. Well, Green was a nice passing down the field quickly. Here's Madara G at the edge of the box. Castro. Picked up by Brady. Brady chased into the near side corner. Spins out of the defensive pressure and Wolf off target though and Madaragia won't be able to chase that one down. 
It'll be a goal kick for Rodriguez. Couple of substitutions, one for Sun Westland. I believe one for North Greenville as well. Substitutions have, well, I haven't been that many of them tonight, so most of the starters still out there. Southern Westland did make a few changes at half, and so far it seems to be helping for Southern Westland, but they can't quite, once again, execute to the finish line. Lobby finds a car now, kick to the far side. Gravely goes down the field and Lobby and Taylor go down in a heap. They'll give it to North Greenville it looks like. No card this time. The free kick for North Greenville. That one, that one certainly will be within range. There's a car to take it. Sakar, Andre Sakar, only a freshman out of Sweden, but very talented freshman for North Greenville. The kick from Sakar, high over the goal, no good. Gia picks up the deflection off of Southern Wesleyan, trying to find his way into the box. Passes off to Sakar, goes wide as Sakar gives to Becerra, but Southern Wesleyan there. Malagon, one on one with Becerra, the ball still in bounds. Southern Wesleyan has to get it out from their own box. And Becerra goes after it, but he can't pick it up. Seavers mistimes the kick. And Cordy pops it up. Trying to connect with Mataragia. The Warriors still hanging on to inbounds. And Mataragia gets it back after all that. Now it will go out of bounds. Off of Taylor in North Greenville will have a throw in. Bobby into the box. The car racing for it. And Rodriguez waves off the pressure and they'll make the save in traffic. North Greenville has been able to put the pressure on Southern Westland so far on the offensive side of the ball until about now. Southern Westland be able to, have to take the ball down the field. Roughly halfway through the second half, still goalless. Heading into the late game. The big question for this game is going to be who can finish with the most clarity in their execution as they come down to the so final minutes. Southern Westland on a run. That kick deflecting off of Quinn will slow it down. Barzola will make the easy save as number 10 Malagon has another shot but unable to connect again. Warriors to the far side, Gravely on defense. Here comes Southern Wesleyan into the box. And Cordy is able to end that threat. Right 
Well, Greenville breaking free down the right wing. That looks like Casey Brady. Sarah, middle of the field, in traffic. Sends a kick down the field and will go out of bounds for a goal kick to Rodriguez. Soccer ball for both teams just didn't seem to be hitting its mark as they try to continue their offensive attacks. Brady again, now Sakar, and missed times the pass to Brady. Southern Wesley intercepts. Larry back the other way, lots of room to run for Castro on the right wing. Stick to the middle field, slings it forward, and Barzola will come up and make the save right in front of a fast streaking Christian Taylor. And that right there separates the good players from the great players. But Barzola did have the instinct to come up on the ball and be able to take it away, the opportunity for the Southern Wesleyan player. Too strong for Mataragia. 20 minutes left in the ball game. A goal here would more than likely force the other team into a hurry up mode. Sarah steps in front of Castro to pick that one up. Or to work down the middle of the field. Brady intercepts that one. Rodello intercepts that one. Lucy Carr with a nice challenge and picks up the ball for North Greenville. Likes to go down the field. Sakar intercepted by Nestor Gonzalez. Number nine, Marcelo Vargas. Castro, Agudelo, back to Vargas. Now Lobby, after the ball deflects around off some players. Posada, Agudelo again. Malagon, Castro, on the right wing. Some room to run, work with, he'll Look to number 12, Taylor. Cross into the box, over the crossbar, no good. Goal kick for Barzola. Chris Simmon back on for North Greenville. Crusader coming off. It's truly really been interesting to watch coming this second half, but Crusader's offense has looked to seem to try more of a long ball approach instead of what Son of Wesley has been doing with a lot of the short game and driving the ball over the middle. Matter of Gio is a Crusader that came off. Long kick down the sideline and handball goes against the Warriors and Offside flag went up as well, so compounded damage for Southern Wesleyan will get the ball to North Greenville. Here's Masseri, finally picks up the loose ball, gets tripped up, foul against Southern Westland. Free kick for North Greenville.
Bobby with the free kick, high over the crossbar. And another missed opportunity by the Crusaders with Lobby kicking it over the goal. Number nine, Brandon Harrison comes on for Johnny Lind. On that substitution run for North Greenville. Now Brady down the middle of the field, slings it forward. Keeper for Southern Wesley coming off his mark to make the save in front of Harrison. Brady wants to keep trying, trying his best to get the ball away from Southern Wesson, but they keep getting it back. A bounce, Southern Wesson ball. Well, Tristan Taylor, it's a ball on the right wing, now Castro. Castro at the cross, headed away by North Greenville. Still in the box though, headed on goal. Barzola to make the save from number three, Keegan Wilkinson. Wesleyan comes off on the better end from that slide tackle. Wesleyan going back to the basics with the really short passes. Warriors back in business. Challenge Becerra, no call. And now all the way down to Sakar. The card at disadvantage though, two on one. Sends a kick out of bounds though. And a corner for North Greenville as it goes out of bounds on Southern Wesleyan. And the long ball by North Greenville is gonna set up another opportunity in the corner for North Greenville to have another chance to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. I'm running out of time in regulation. 13 minutes left to play in the second half. Thirty-two minutes have come and gone. The cross from Lobby from the far side corner, punched away by Rodriguez. Everybody fanning out. Brady intercepted, and now the Warriors will like to go forward. Barzola off his mark. That's Southern Westland offside. A costly penalty for Southern Westland. Something that should be cleaned up in practice, but Seaman has made its way onto the field. And Marcelo Vargas was all but certain he was on on so he was onside. We're going with another opportunity here. Like he didn't get a, Lucky he didn't get a yellow card for that. And Vargas again. But North Greenville gets the penalty. Time stopped with 11.52 left on the second half. The official confirming calls. Southern Westland setting up. It's just a free kick. They like to take the pass. Shot to the near side for Castro, too long for him. Goal kick for Barzola. Both teams are feeling the pressure as we near the end of this game. With almost 10 minutes left, but it's coming down as they continue to push the ball closer and closer to both sides of the field.
Substitution for North Greenville with Casey Brady coming off. So the Wesleyan's still in possession. Slowly working their way down the field. Nice passing. Here comes Southern Wesleyan into the box. And a deflection by Cordy. Cleared away by Gravely. Again, Malagon able to work his way into the box. Southern Wesleyan unable to get the goal out of it. Try again. Long shot for the Warriors. Sails wide. No good. Southern Wesleyan giving the North Greenwood defense all it can handle at this point. We're trying to take every opportunity, even the long ball, to get the score. Barzola with the goal kick. Southern Wesleyan heads it at midfield. Chris Inman with the back heel. And the Southern Wesleyan defense holds, clears it out of bounds. Warriors now on the left wing. Cross into the box, headed away by Severs. Still not done though, number five, Algodolo. Forced to kick away, now he'll get it back. Far side edge of the box. Trying to slide one in, here comes a kick. Still not cleared away. Barzola lets it roll out of bounds and smart decision, he'll have a goal kick. Last touch by the Warriors. Foul at midfield goes against North Greenville. And Vargas down on the turf after he gets tangled up and they will stop the clock with 7.51 left to play in the second half. As Vargas gets up to his feet and he'll walk it off. Southern Wesleyan with everybody on the one side of the field. And they'll work it away now. Here comes across into the box over everybody again. Goal kick for Barzola. Southern Wesleyan un unable to connect. Short kick from Barzola will bounce across midfield. will go out of bounds. North Greenwood gets it back, though. Severs goes up the ladder to try and bring that one down. Southern Wesleyan. 
Can't connect on the pass. Ooh, and a foul at the near side as Inman goes down, pops right back up though against Sebastian Castro. Free kick though for Lobby to take. Curl into the box, bounced around. Played away by the Warriors though. Nearing the five minute mark, Clint Wesleyan driving the ball with a lot of steam. Yeah, using an intricate ne network of passing and deflections off of North Greenville. Here comes a line drive shot right to Barzola to handle that hot one. Let's go, boys, come on. Malagon put some mustard on that one. Barzola was there, ready for it. Greenville defense, bend but no, bend but don't break. Now the Warriors trying to balance it at the edge of the box. Cleared away again by North Greenville. Turned away at the door. Not sure who. Cameron Ward was trying to hook up with maybe Sakar, but Sakar was a good 10, 15 yards away from that one. Sakari able to pick up on the deflection. Doesn't have any help with him though. Sakar. Fouls the Southern Wesleyan defender, the Warriors pick it up. Less than four minutes to go in the ball game. A goal here would all but clinch it. Now the Warriors at the edge of the box looking for a shot. Deflects off of North Greenville on the rebound. No good. Barzola lets it go by the post. Looks like two substitutions. North Greenville, Johnny Lind, one of those. He's set to come back in. Meanwhile, new substitution, number 29, Joel Johnson. See his first action today. Andre Sakar, one of North Greenville players coming off as well as number nine, Brandon, Brandon Harrison. Harrison. Less than three minutes to go. Somebody got to formulate an attack and get a goal quick. Otherwise, it will be extra time. These are times when your captains on your team need to step up and stand out and be the leaders that they are supposed to be to be able to help rally the team together to put a goal in. North Greenville went into extra time in their last home match against King University and unfortunately came up on the short end of that one. The Warriors deep pass down the field, looking for Castro. Too strong for him, out of bounds. Under two to play. It's 
Might be the last good opportunity North Greenville has before extra time. Barzolo works the clock down to a minute and a half and sends the ball away. Now the Warriors with a chance. Trying to work their way through the defense. Cleared out of bounds by Quinn. Still Southern Westland ball. They have one minute left. Throw in quickly. Bounced around on the near side. Here's Castro. Cross into the box. Cleared away again by Quinn and Cordy. Now 45 seconds left. The Warriors still in possession. Five trying to line something up. That, that, that's Agudelo. Passes forward. North Greenville swarms to it. Southern Westland able to get, around, get out of it. And now Lind. That's Johnson. Johnson rips the ball away. Now he's down the near side. Doesn't have anybody with him. Southern Westland rips it away from him. Keeps it in bounds. Warriors back the other way. At the cross midfield. Here comes Southern Westland. Chip shot up for number seven, Posada. Posada into the box, tries a shot. Barzola with the save, though. Here comes the official in with a late call. And that will be the end of the ball game. Southern Westland has a couple of opportunities late, but can't cash in on them. Clock, run, the clock runs out on Southern Westland. Still scoreless, so we will need extra time between Southern Westland and North Greenville to settle this one. Let both teams head back to their benches and get some different calls changed up and some rest before extra time comes up. In Southern Westland and North Greenville here, <laughs> here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
And we're back here with your Southern Wesleyan versus North Greenville game. And going in overtime, scoreless up to this point. Both teams being able to take the ball down the field, but not able to score and put the ball in the back of the net, not being able to execute very well. You're here with Christian Nathan and Gray Sutherland on the call tonight. And we are still here. It is about to be 9 o'clock here at beautiful Pepsi Stadium. We have cloudy skies as night has, a, has come upon us. And just to remind everybody of the overtime rules, we have two 10-minute periods. Golden goal rule is in effect. This is sudden death. First goal scored will win the game. Goalkeeper switch nets again. Mateo Brazola now stands on the left net where he started the game. And Ruben Rodriguez stands where he started the game in the right goal. North Greenville. Not letting Southern Wesleyan go. If you look at records, 8-4-1 for the Warriors, 2-10 for North Greenville. And North Greenville already in trouble as Johnny Lynn dumps it out of bounds right in front of a Warriors player. Lucky that one wasn't picked up and scored a minute into overtime. Has a play by Lynn to be able to take the ball, to spin it around and kick it back right back out. The Warriors looking to end this one early. Here comes a cross. Into the box, a shot picked up by Barzola. No problem for him. Sent back the other way. Oh, the Warriors not done yet. Foiled by North Greenville over there on the far side. Mataragia steps in front of that one. Asa Wolf turned the ball right back over to the Southern Wesleyan team, giving Southern Wesleyan another opportunity to end this game. Here we are in overtime. North Greenville will get their first decent chance. North Greenville falls to the slide challenge by Southern Wesleyan. Southern Wesleyan trying to get the long ball, but North Greenville able to pick it up. At midfield, here comes the Warriors. Number 22, Kirsten Hout. Cordy on defense, 
Time West Lane ends it. Now Gravely cuts it out, but here comes the head official in. Stops play for a foul against North Greenville. Free kick taken quickly by Southern Wesleyan, and the official is going to make them come back and redo it. Here comes a shot. Curling into the near side edge of the box. Cross in from Southern Wesleyan. No good. Into the side of the net. Barzola there just in case. Barzola sacrificing his body on that play. Jumping in towards the side of the pole, but able to land safely. Sets up for the goal kick. Number 12, Taylor for the Warriors. Not able to chase that one down. Warriors work it down the right wing. Far side edge of the box, looking for a cross. Will we have one? No. Try to pass in. Number 22, Herson Hout. North Greenville able to clear it away. It's in overtimes like this that the basics come to if the basics aren't played, if the basics of the game are not played right, they can come back to bite you later. And possession of the ball is going to be very important. Seavers on the far side. Out of bounds. Gets tripped up. Ball stays in bounds for Southern Westland. Southern Westland, here comes a break into the box. A shot headed away by North Greenville. Still not done yet. Mataragia tries to get ahead to clear it out. Southern Westland knocks it back the other way. Here comes number 19, Sam Roden. And number 23, Cassio Barron. Barronbaum. Offside flag goes up against the Warriors. Again, Vargas offside. Again, costly penalties here. Being like offside, something that should be cleaned up in, pa in practice. Those kind of errors, errors you cannot make come down, especially in the overtime game. Where's the middle of the field? Alley try to find number 19. That's Roden again. He can't outmaneuver Gravely, who kicks it out of bounds. Let the rest of his team catch up with him. Warriors still with the ball, looking for his chance. Here comes a cross by Castro. Stops at the edge of the box, trying to work his way in. Morris Greenville gets it rid of it. Metarigia kicks it out of bounds. We do have a goal into one of the nets over there on the sideline, but doesn't count. Now Southern Westland is trying to get an actual goal on the far side. Pass back. Deflection off the defender, cleared away. Okay, well, defense showing tight coverage. Now putting five defenders back there. Southern Westland trying to pick apart number three, Keegan Wilkinson. North Greenville repulses. And there goes Severs back the other way. He's intercepted by number 12, Taylor. Now Southern Westland turns around the defense. Here comes a shot, and it's going to go into the back of the net. And that's going to do it. A heads up play for Southern Wesleyan to be able to come down the field, driving back down, and be able to find the open hole in the middle to push the ball into the back of the net to end this game here in overtime. Number 11, Sebastian Castro.
puts this game on ice for Southern Wesleyan. And the Warriors come away with a win. 1-0, 2.25 left to play in the first extra time period. So North Greenville will fall to 2-11 on the season. Southern Wesleyan picks up their ninth win. They go 9-4-1 overall and get another key conference win as only a few more games remain between between now and the end of the season at the end of the month of October and then we'll have the postseason conference Carolinas tournament. Next broadcast, now we have a couple of soccer games Tuesday. A double header, men's and women's. Double checking that. Yes, on October 27th, that's a Tuesday. Women's and men's soccer, both in action against Belmont Abbey College, five and seven those times for first kick. And then on Friday, October 30th, women's volleyball in action against Pfeiffer, and on the 31st, Halloween, against Belmont Abbey. And a tri-match against, and scratch that. Okay, and just a, just a note, I'm sure we'll uh, continue to relay on Tuesday that on Halloween the 31st, we are going to try and simultaneously broadcast women's volleyball against Belmont Abbey at one, and then women's soccer against Barton also at one. So we hope to have two different streams going for that one. And then at 3 p.m., went men's soccer against Barton at senior day for those guys. That one at three, so after the women's soccer game, and then women's volleyball back on the court later that same day against Winston-Salem State University to round out the month of October. Of course, you can check out our broadcast schedule and check and see when your times. Uh, next game will be up on ngcrusaders.com as well as catching up with all the latest news, articles, and archives for North Greenville Athletics. And you can also set your device of choice to let you know when our broadcast will go off. And now you can do that. So uh, take a look at our Ustream page for more information on that. So North Greenville Falls Southern Wesleyan 1 0 in Conference Carolina's action. We thank you for listening to another production of North Greenville University Soccer here on the Ustream channel for the North Greenville Sports Network.